Hey, what's going on, guys? It's FXG Gaming here. Um, as you guys have seen, I've done some game reviews for my channel. Um, so I thought, hey, I might as well do one for the current game that I'm playing most. With that being said, it's Neverwinter. Um, <clears throat> before we get into any details about the game, I am not getting paid by art by any means to make this video because this video is going to go over a lot of pros about the game and fairly little cons or um yeah all the pros fairly little cons because to me there's not many cons about the game others may think that the game is filled with flaws and cons but in my perspective about the game there's not many um we're first going to get started with the characters in the game that you get to choose from um as well as you may know, a lot of MMOs, you have different characters to be. Uh, in this game, you have the... We'll actually go to the main menu and check them out. And then we'll go over the races. And then we'll go over how you should build your character. Um, you have the Great Weapon Fighter, which is just a two-hand brute that does dps we have the hunter ranger which is kind of like the assassin based stealthy in and out of stealth hitting opponents and enemies we have the scourge warlock it is the mage class well, one of two mage classes then we have the guardian fighter which is the tank for the game we have the control wizard which is the other mage class the hunter ranger so as you can see he is the bow and arrow type of character in this game we have the cleric which is the buff debuff cleric or he can be uh heals or he can be a dps however you want to portray your cleric um <clears throat> with that being said there's different races which you can choose your characters from uh we won't go over them because um some of them are irrelevant but uh i'll get to list them for you there's human drow dwarf half elf half orc halfling Renegade, Moon Elf, Sun Elf, Wood Elf, Thefling, and the newest one for him, Dragonborn. Um, Dragonborn is the best, but it's a little pricey. Um, this game is free to play. Uh, it's not one of those things where they lure you in with free to play and free to download, and then you have to be a member to unlock everything. Um, with the exception of like different races and stuff, everything else is unlocked. You can play the game fully with just downloading the game it is um free to play but there is pay to win aspects of that with that being said <clears throat> pvp is one aspect which is in my opinion pay to win uh once the game loads we'll get into the pay to win section and show you what they have to offer all right as i've already said this game is free to play but as most free-to-play games, they have microtransactions available. Here is the Zen amount. And here are the dollars for the Zen. As you see, that's $200 for 23,000 Zen and so on and so forth. Um, with that being said, you can purchase Zen with actual money. Then you can exchange your Zen right here in this menu. Uh, sell Zen for, and that's the amounts that people were selling them for, as you see on the right. So I can spend... Twenty dollars and get twenty-one thousand in, and then sell twenty-one thousand in for three hundred and three AD a piece, which is astral diamonds, which is the main currency of the game. And that also is vice versa. You can take your AD in this tab here. You can take your AD and buy Zen with it. So you don't necessarily have to buy your way into the game or buy classes or buy whatever it is that's in the Zen market, you can take your AD that you earn from doing dungeons and skirmishes and weeklies and dailies and stuff like that and selling things on the auction house to make your Zen if you needed the Zen from something off the Zen market. Because uh, not everything is available throughout the game uh, from drops or loot chests or whatever it may be. Some things you actually have to spend money or AD for the Zen to get in the game. Uh, we'll go over a couple of things like that. Dragonborn is one of those things. Uh, as you see, it's broke down to segments. Um, we're not going to spend much more after this on uh, the pay to win. Um, and this is just what the, the game has to offer. Again, 
you can take your AD and transfer it into Zen, so you don't have to actually buy the Zen. Um, another big aspect of the game is it's a massive uh, multiplayer online, so you're playing with hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, I didn't give me a second. So making friends is crucial into the game because a lot of MMOs is boring to play, especially ones that consist of DPS and you need a tank to do this or a cleric to do that. Um, so with that being said, we're going to move on from the free to play and the Zen aspect of the game. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the most grindiest games out there. Uh, if you don't want to invest time and effort into a game to get your character gooder, or gooder, oh my god, more better, then this game is not for you. If I, as of it sits right now, February 2nd, 2017, I have 60 days played in this game. 60 days played in this game. And my character is nowhere near the best it could be. This is my character here, and that's the like the items and stuff that you'll see, which I'm not going to go over much of those. But uh, there at the item level on your left side, we're underneath the level 70. The highest item level is a little over 4,300. That's like fully maxed out everything on your character. And then you have to fully max out your companions and fully max out your insignias to actually have your character max out. That takes a substantial amount of time and or money with that being said again you can pay to get there faster which is going to cost you a lot of money um <clears throat> uh, the character builds in this game i've played a lot of games in my time and this is one of the only games where your character build from the beginning is crucial to your character build throughout the whole entire game so if you start off with the wrong race or the wrong feats or the wrong attributes or the wrong movesets you will make a half-assed character that isn't going to be good in the game and people only want the best nowadays people don't want to play with people who don't know their class or don't know how to play the character or don't have the right feats in because um, a lot of these characters and a lot of these tunes on this game are like kind of like cookie cutter. There's a certain way you you want to play them in order to max out your your heals or your buffs or your debuffs or your DPS. Because at the end of the day, the DPS in this game is very competitive. You want to outbeat your opponent or your the group that you're playing with. You want to outbeat the guy who who's talking trash on you and saying you're not very good at the game or whatever it may be, whatever aspect in this game which draws you to play this, there is a competitive aspect if you take it serious. The people who don't think it's competitive are the people who are just playing it to play it, you know, they don't care if they're, you know, doing the best they can do or beating so-and-so in DPS or improving their character, they're just playing the game to play the game, which is all fine and dandy, but each person has their own way of playing games. Uh, they're uh, new content. <clears throat> they are coming up with new content all the time. I've been playing this game for nine months now, and they've came out with, they just recently came out with the third mod since I've been playing, which is pretty good. Um, with a free game, they're also, you know, they're actually coming out with more content frequently. Um, the content is pretty good. Um, it's a little hard to get into, especially the, you know, because the, the people out there, the groups out there, they want the best of the best. So, you know, if you're subpar in a game, you're not going to get your character building as faster as you would if you would actually take it more serious. Um, with that being said, with the mods, they're also changing things throughout the game. If this aspect of the game is broken, they fix it. If this character is, you know, broken in the game, they'll fix it. Uh, a couple months ago, it was a Scourge Warlock where his uh, pet did crazy amounts of damage. 100 mil on, on one hit, you know. They fix that, which inevitably piss people off on the game. They're like, well, if I spent all this time and effort getting my, which at the time was crazy amounts of DPS, which should have never been done in the first place, nerfed it, it made people upset. It made people quit the game. It made people wonder why they just invested all this time and effort and some money into a game, which now their character doesn't do as much DPS as it should have been. I don't have a Scorch Warlock in the competitive scene. So I wasn't too concerned with that. 
Uh, now, next month, they, they might hit the Great Weapon Fighter. They might say, oh, you're in Domino Battle Strike. That's too much. And nerf that down like they do everything else. That's fine. You know, as of right now, I think the game is probably the most balanced the game's been with regarding of DPS and, you know, heals versus buffs and stuff like that. The game is balanced right now. I wouldn't say it's completely 100% balanced between every DPS character, but it's a lot more balanced than what it was two months ago. Um, the cons of the game. The game is... Sometimes it's very glitchy. Sometimes it'll kick you for no reason. Uh, sometimes you won't have internet for a few seconds, which will cause you to lag and rubber band. Um, sometimes it won't load in your your mount right away. Sometimes, you know, small aspects of the game, which nobody that plays video games wants to get kicked from the game. Nobody playing video games wants to experience lag, but with everything being wireless now, you're going to experience lag. You're going to experience getting booted off of a game not for long you know, you know disconnection puts you right back in but they've done a better job with putting you back where you were in the game for example if you're doing a dungeon and it kicks you to the menu the main menu once you load back in it will put you back in the dungeon where you were um so they're they're making strides on that aspect but uh you know everyone wants to see a game where there's no lag and there's no Let's kick you to the home main menu for no reason. Um, other cons? PvP. If you're playing this game, there's a small aspect of PvP. We'll go over the queues here. Queues are broken down into regular, epic, and regular dungeons, player versus player, epic trial, skirmish. Um, as you progress through the right side, it will and gradually and gradually get harder. Um, this is the PvP. As you see, there's not many playlists and playstyles for PvP. But that is more or less pay to win. You can pay quickly to get through what you need in the PvP aspect because there's no companions. A lot of your, your money in the game or a lot of your time and effort is always invested in your companion because right now... The way your pet is set up, your pet gives you more buffs than what it should. So right now, people are taking advantage of your companion, and they—I ha I have a feeling they might fix it. The bondings here are what makes your companion OP. Uh, each bonding gives me 95% of my companion stats. So with three bonding 12s and the 15% at legendary bonus I'm getting 300% of my stats you see on the right so 300% of 6100 power is a lot of power I see them cutting the percentage down and or cutting the power that it gives you because not only is it giving me 95% of my companion stats for each bonding but it's giving me 840 power for each bonding as well um, these are expensive, and the equipment, which I don't have it because I haven't saved up enough FAD, the equipment you need for your companion is expensive as well. Not real money, but AD. Obviously, it might take you months to gain 5 mil AD, but it might take $100 to get you 4.5 mil. So, if you want to invest the money into it, you're more than welcome to do that. But, I think the investing money is more along the lines of people who've played the game. And understand their character because if you are starting off and you're investing all this money in your character and you get it to 70 which is right now the current max level and you start doing epic dungeons and stuff you're gonna have no idea how to do them you're gonna have no idea how to play your class which inevitably will make people not want to play with you so you're spending all this money to do things by yourself which then you're going to get kicked because you have no idea what you're doing so my advice before you guys spend a bunch of money in this game Learn your class, learn how to play the game, and learn what the game's about before you inevitably spend money in the game. I've spent very little, and the stuff that the money that I did spend in this game it was on like cosmetics, like more bank spots or more characters, and you know this and that. The you know the visuals aspect of the game. Um, I really don't spend too much money. I do buy VIP. Uh, VIP is a must in this game. It's basically it doesn't. 
enhance the game too much, but uh, we'll go over a couple of VIP benefits. You'll get two bags a day, one gaining epic keys to do epic dungeons, and one claiming <clears throat> one purple bag full of one enchanted key, and that's it. The enchanted key will be able to open lockboxes that you'll inevitably get throughout the game by killing monsters, and that was what contains in each lockbox. There's numerous lockboxes throughout the game that you can spend and open up keys for. Uh, the stuff in there, some of it is expensive. As you see, the Eye of the Giant is pretty expensive. The Manticore is pretty expensive and stuff like that. And obviously, as you go down the list, it gets cheaper and cheaper. But that's what the VIP is for. Um, VIP also comes with uh, other benefits. You know, it starts at rank 1 and then you level it up. You know, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to twelve. And as you see, I don't have VIP twelve because I've been playing it for a year. Um, these will help you. The summoning signposts will help you. Summoning salvage anvil will help you. Summoning professors or profession vendor will help you sell things when your inventory gets full. Because anyone who's played an MMO, your inventory fills up fast, so you can summon your vendor to sell everything that you don't need to gain gold throughout the game. Um, these are all the benefits that you see on the left. My current benefits is on the left, and as you go the right side, as you progress through the tiers, you'll gain more and more stuff. Now, with VIP, the keys are crucial. Right now, we are in mod 10.5, which they changed recently. Now, when you're doing epic dungeons, and at the end, you could um, look into the chest and see what the chest was in it, or what was in the chest before you depleted your key. Now, before you look in the chest, it automatically depletes your key. So it pops up a warning, you are going to use such and such key to open this. Once you, yes, it depletes the key, then you have to take the real stuff in there regardless. Before mod 10.5, you could open up as many chests, and if you didn't want the stuff inside, it didn't deplete the key. So VIP, for me, is a must once you hit 70. If you don't want to grab it before you hit 70, Please grab it when you hit 70 because you're going to need the epic dungeon keys. Um, you can buy them with the AD, but most dungeon chests you're not going to make what you bought the key for. Uh, you get one daily dungeon key a day, and then you'll start having to buy them. Right now I get a discount because of my VIP is so high, but an epic dungeon key is 4,250 diamonds. You might get, most dungeons you might get, 5k and then it'll start depleting value after that until you've earned your 10,800 AD from your your um, dungeons. Each section is broke down and you can there's a cap on each section and your cubes. You can only earn so much during per day during skirmishes, dungeons slash epic dungeons and PvP. So right there they're capping what your growth is for your AD, which I think they need to change because most people in the game, the 36,000 that you can refine per day doesn't do anything for us. We need millions to get us anywhere in the game, and they're giving us 36,000 AD. That's why you seen in the beginning of the video, I had so many characters. So if you think I have eight, nine characters, each character you can refine 36,000 AD, which then you gain more AD per day. Now that's with, you know, having all the AD salvageable items and stuff like that. Um, the biggest part of this game is investing your time wisely and your resources wisely. Invest in character spots, invest in sales when you actually have them, invest in promotions when you have them, invest in special events on the weekends when they have them you know it's all about investing um, one more thing we're going to talk about before we go into a couple other cons is the guild the guilds in this game are very competitive so if you want to find a guild you'll just go into the guild and then you'll find find guild as you'll see here find a guild they'll post what they're looking for or the requirements and stuff like that you can also go in the enclave and search guilds are crucial not only are you getting a lot of stats but you're gaining a community to play with <clears throat> a 
cons of the game. It's grinding. Uh, some people see it as a pro, some people say it's a con. Uh, nobody wants to work hard for what they have anymore. That's just the society we live in, and that's the people's mindset. They don't want to invest hours onto a game to get better and feeling satisfied. They just want it an instant. I want to be the greatest, so I want to pay for it. And if I can't pay for it, I don't want to take forever. As I've told you, I've have over 60 days, and that's not even a lot compared to some other people. Some other people have 100 days, 120 days, 130 days, 140 days played in this game. I only have 60 days. Now, you may say, all oh, 60 days is a lot. And it is. I play this game probably every day, on and off every day. Um, now, with that being said, you can, you know, find people that will help you out through the game. But a lot of people won't give you what you need. They'll just give you advice on how to get it. Because this game is so set on you spending money in the game to get your character there. Now, as I said, it's a slowly grind to get your character up. But if you're willing to invest the time and effort into it, you don't have to spend money. Now, I spend $10 a month on VIP because I don't want to waste my AD. Your AD is the best part of the game. And I'm sitting at 853000 Now, I could take 310000 of that and invest into next month's VIP. But that's going to cut me down to 500 k 500 k is nothing in this game anymore. Um, they did change the drop rates. Right now, the drop rates is better than they've ever been. You're getting drops on all the dungeons, so they're making more dungeons viable. Before 10.5, it was only a select few dungeons people ran because everything else, they didn't give you anything. You didn't need to run them. Why run them when you can run CN and get the best stuff in the game? So they've changed that. So like I said before, I don't have very many cons about the game. Um, I just wish they'd come out with another race and another class that's viable. Like Dragonborn... When it came out, ran rampant in the game. Everyone was getting Dragonborn. Everyone was, you know, switching their character to race to Dragonborn. And it was a good time. So, if I would have to say one more con, it would probably be having better races. Because I stated in the beginning, some of the races I think are irrelevant. Dwarves, halflings, wood elves. Uh, running gains, sun elves, sun elves are okay for clerics. Half elf, you know, some of those they don't get played, you know. Give us some, make them better so people are willing to play them, you know. But uh, that's it for the video. I appreciate you guys stopping by, and uh, if you want to see more videos of such, let me know. I will be streaming Neverwinter uh, every day. As I said earlier, I play this game every day. And if you want to follow for more content, please hit that sub button, turn notifications on. This is FXG signing out. Thank you.